everyone hope you're all doing great and today as you can see I have no makeup on my face whatsoever and that's because today I want to share with you all the tips and tricks of finding that perfect foundation and also I want to share with you how to apply it flawlessly before you get into the foundation it's very important to prepare your skin for it now what that basically means is to clean your face thoroughly and moisturize it now I've already done those, so for me the next step is using a primer. Now if you don't have a primer, don't worry, you can easily replace this by using your regular moisturizer. Especially if you have dry skin, I feel you don't really need a primer because your dry skin tends to hold on to the foundation much longer anyways. So you can just skip this step and use a moisturizer instead. But if you have oily skin, you might want to use a primer which is specially designed to control oil so that it doesn't seep through your makeup during the day. Or if you have large pores, then you might want to use a primer that is designed to fill in those pores. So it basically depends on what sort of skin you have, what are your skin's problems. So you must understand your skin type and what your skin needs and then choose a product which meets those needs. Now I have dry to normal skin so I can very easily skip a primer, it's not a necessity for me. But during this time of the year it's really hot and humid here in Bangladesh so when I know that I'll be staying out throughout the day for a long period of time I do prefer using a primer especially on my T-zone because I can get a little shiny there throughout the day. So the primer that I like to use is this Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. So I'll just take a pea size amount and dab it on my T-zone. Now the primer that you choose also depends on the finish that you want. So if you want a matte look, you would want to go with a primer which has a mattifying effect. On the other hand, if you want a glowy, dewy look, then you should go with a primer that has that effect. So it kind of depends on what you want. So the next step is foundation. Now finding the perfect foundation for you depends a lot on understanding your skin type, what your skin needs. Now do you have dry skin or oily skin, acne prone skin or do you have lots of marks or dark spots that you want to hide? All of these factors plays a very important role in your perfect foundation. Now if you have dry skin, you should go for a foundation that has a dewy finish. On the other hand, if you have an oily skin, you should go for a foundation with a mattifying effect. Now if you have marks or spots that you want to cover up, I would suggest you not to make your foundation or expect your foundation to cover those up because in that way you would end up using a lot of foundation and it would give you a cakey effect which is not a good look to go for. So I would suggest you to use a concealer to cover up those problematic areas and use your foundation strictly to get an even skin tone. Alright, so after you've figured out which foundation to go for, the next step is to look for your perfect shade. Now I know this can be a little daunting at times and that's why I have a little tips and tricks for you that's going to make your life a little easier. Now it's a big no-no to swatch your foundation on your hand and expecting it to match with your face because it just doesn't work. Most of the times our hand and our face is not of the same color. Now what most of the people suggest is to swatch your foundation on your jaw so that you can see whether it matches with your face as well as your neck area. Because you don't just want to match it with your face and not with your neck because then when you apply it, it would look like as if you're wearing a mask. So now as you can see, my face is a little darker than my neck and my chest. So when I'm looking for a foundation, I try to match it with my neck so that when I apply it on my face, everything blends in seamlessly. Now the next step is to decide what to use the foundation with. So you can use your fingers, some sort of a sponge or a beauty blender or my favorite brushes. Now I prefer using these sort of brushes which are really densely packed and flat because this helps to buff the foundation into your skin nicely and it doesn't leave any tricky marks or lines or anything on your face. So today I'll be using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade W5 and I'll be using it with my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. So pour a little on the back of your hand 
then just stipple it on your brush and go ahead and stipple it on your face. I like to spread the foundation evenly on my skin first and then I go ahead and buff it in. Don't forget to take it down to your neck. So now I'm done with my foundation. Now as you can see, I didn't really go for a very heavy coverage because I don't really have that problematic areas to cover. All I wanted is an even skin tone and I think I have got that. Now I would suggest you to go with a light layer at first and then gradually build it up depending on how much coverage you need. In that way, you won't end up having a cakey face. Now after you've applied your foundation, go ahead and check if there is any darkness or any other problematic area which needs a little more covering. Now if you have dark spots or acne scarring or anything like that, you would want to use a concealer which is of the same shade of your skin. Because using something lighter than your skin tone is actually going to accentuate those problematic areas rather than hiding it. So you would want to use something which is of the same color as your skin so that it camouflages it. Now if you have really bad under eye circles, you should use a peachy salmon colored concealer because that's going to counteract the darkness and hide it. Now if you don't have any major under eye darkness, then you can go ahead with a concealer which is a few shades lighter than your skin tone because that's going to help to brighten up your under eye area and make you look more awake and refreshed. So like always, today I'm going to be using my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Warm Medium 3. Now I just put this under my eye using this doe foot applicator and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it in using a tapered kabuki brush. Create this triangular shape because that would really help to accentuate your cheekbones. Then to buff in the concealer, I am going to be using this tapered kabuki brush. So just tap it in like this and blend it out. Drag it a little towards your temples. I like to go over my eyelids as well because I do have some discoloration there. Now to set everything in place, use a powder of your choice and today I'll be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade 05 Silky Beige. And I'll be using my Real Techniques Powder Brush to apply it. Use a light dusting of powder because you don't want to end up having a cakey face. So now you have the perfect canvas ready for any makeup look that you want.